One day you're just a little boy, the next you're getting ready to leave us. I only wish your grandfather could see what a fine young man you've become. <laughs> to think, it's been so many years already since old Chalky found you floating in... in, in uh, I mean, since he brought you to Cobblestone. We never thought there was anything out of the ordinary about you. And now suddenly there's all this talk of luminaries, of all things. You know who the luminary was, of course. A legendary hero who saved the world from a terrible darkness. And we're supposed to believe that you're him reincarnated? <laughs> I don't doubt old Chalkney, of course. But it is a little hard to swallow, I must say. Oh, when you meet the King of Heliodor, put in a good word for old Cobblestone, won't you, eh? <laughs> if he finds out this is the village where the luminary was raised, there might be something in it for us, <laughs> if you catch my drift. Oh, you are terrible. Trust you to be thinking about what you can get out of it. Oh, no, I'm only joking, of course. The very thought. <laughs> anyway, where was I? Ah, uh, yes. Now, the fate that awaits you may well be one beyond anything we simple country folk can imagine. But you must allow us to offer what little assistance we can. Take this map of Erdria with you. May it prove useful in finding your way. Uh, uh, oh, oh. And may this magnificent steed, the pride of Cobblestone, lighten your burden and speed you on your way. You'll find Heliodor easily enough. Just head north out of the village and follow your nose. You travel safely now. Oh, you're such a good boy, such a good boy. You make us proud out there, won't you? And come back safe. Take this with you. I... I made it for you. It'll keep you safe. I heard there are lots of monsters where you're going. Be sure to keep it close, won't you? Oh, I don't know what's in store for you out there. But wherever you go and whoever you meet, don't... Don't forget us, will you? Take care, and remember, we'll be waiting for you.
what have we here? I know a budding adventurer when I see one. It can be risky heading into the great outdoors if you aren't familiar with the basics of survival, you know. Well, fear not, because that's where I come in. See the remains of that fire over there? Well, when you spy one of those, it means you can set up camp and rest your weary bones. To settle down for the night, just go up to the fire and examine it. You'll soon be enjoying a well-earned break. What's that? You're worried about being attacked by monsters while you sleep? Oh, ye of little faith! That statue over there is chock full of holy powers that'll keep the beasties at bay for as long as you need. And that's not all. You can pray to it to be cured of poison and all kinds of other things. Think of it as a mini church. Anyway, enough of my yammering. Why don't you take a closer look at all this camping kit for yourself? You'll need to get used to what campsites look like and how to find them. After all, you'll be relying on them whenever you're out in the wilderness. It's like my old dad always said. Keen campers can continue on where others can't. Be prepared. Well, that's all from me. If you have any camping-related queries, feel free to ask. I'm here all the time. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else.
not so fast. State your business. <laughs> Here, shake my hand, mate. That's the funniest one I've heard all week. Clear off, will ya? We haven't got time for this kind of nonsense. Oh, yeah. Ah. Yeah. What's that? You want to show that pendant to the king, you say? Ah. Do you mind waiting here a minute? Ever so sorry for that little misunderstanding. Please, go right on through. His Majesty's waiting for you. Quite close enough. Welcome to Heliodor Castle, friend. The jewel of Dundrasil. You are bold indeed to have made your way here alone, wanderer. I am Carnelian, ruler of Heliodor. How long have I waited for this day? And now, finally, we meet. Truly, it is an honor. The fact that you come here proffering the jewel and asking to speak with me personally would suggest that you know something of your true nature. I take it that you also bear the mark? The mark of light. Then there is no doubt. You are he. Rejoice, dear subjects. The day is upon us at last. The luminary walks among us once more. <laughs> Tell me, O oh luminary. Where exactly is it that you hail from? I would so very much like to pay tribute to those who took you in and raised you. I see. Cobblestone, you say? Jasper, you know of this place? I do, my liege. A village of provincial nobodies deep in the rocky south. Then I take it you know what to do. Do not disappoint me. Yes, my liege. <gasps> A cursed luminary. I know not what your intent was in coming here alone, but whatever your wicked scheme, know that it shall not succeed! <laughs> Hendrik! Take this cur, this harbinger of calamity, and cast him into the furthest corner of the dungeon! Know this! The luminary 
is the root of all evil and will bring naught but misery to our... And why is this? The reason is simple. Just as light is intertwined with darkness, so too is the luminary intertwined with the dread lord of shadows. His coming heralds the resurrection of the Dark One. Did you really think you could fool one as wise as His Majesty? It was your great misfortune to confront one who knows your true nature. Men, seize this wretch! You claim to hail from Cobblestone. Well, before the sun has set three times, we shall know the truth. By then, Jasper will have returned from his investigation. If I were you, Dark Spawn, I would not expect to live beyond that day. Hmm. Will you keep it down in there? Most folks they throw in here have the decency to wait a while before going stir-crazy. What are you in for, anyhow? You don't get free bed and board down here without having done something pretty bad. Wait, did you say the luminary? You're serious? <sighs> You're telling me the Luminary has just shown up in the cell next to mine. This is crazy. One plate of delicious gruel for the gentleman in the dungeon suite. Come and get it. The Luminary? You're serious? So it's all happening just like the Seer said it would. We'd better get out of here. Wait here. You? But... Don't worry, I didn't kill him. But he won't be waking up anytime soon. Things will get pretty hairy up ahead. You'd better take this.
Oh, and I found this in a corner over there. I guess it's your stuff, right? Me? I got this little beauty back, so now I'm pretty much unstoppable. We'd better get out of here before any more of our tin-headed friends come knocking. Hollow when you're ready to move out, okay? I spend ages digging this hole, and you just happen to show up the day I finish it? Heck of a coincidence. Guess I really was meant to help you out, just like the seer said. Anyway, there'll be time to talk about all that later. In you go! The sewers, huh? Well, there must be a way out somewhere. Lead the way. I got your back. Ourselves scarce. Come on, this way. Follow my lead. Follow my lead. These guys don't give up, do they? Huh? 
Seriously? You okay? Looks like we shook the guards, at least. And that looks like a way out. Maybe our luck's about to change. Stand and fight, we're dead. Let's get the heck out of here. Let's get out of here. Goes nothing. <sighs> Whew. I think we gave it the slip. Huh? <sighs> I spoke too soon. Come on. Quickly! Is it gone? Whew. That was way too close for comfort. What's that thing doing under the castle anyway? Well, whatever. We should get going.
We made it. Just. I don't know how much more of this I can take. Huh? huh? There he is! That dark spawn! Ah, me and my big mouth. Move! Now! <laughs> oh, looks like our luck finally ran out. No way back, huh? If they catch us, we're dead meat. Hold! <laughs> Let's do this. I believe in you. I believe in the Luminary. I don't have much choice. Come on! Let's not do anything stupid now. The name's Eric, by the way. Wake up, lazy bones! Come on! Up you get!
Finally. I was worried we'd lost you for a minute there. You've been out cold ever since we jumped. Had to drag you all the way here on my own. But what a jump it was. I closed my eyes, put my faith in the luminary, and somehow didn't get smashed into a thousand pieces. In fact, I woke up on the forest floor at the bottom of the cliff without a scratch on me. Amazing what a little faith can do. Anyway, I guess you and me must be at the top of the King of Heliodor's most wanted list by now. Which means we can't hang around here too long. Let's go say thanks to the nun who looked after us and be on our way. You are my children. I trust that your friend here is fully recovered. Oh, don't worry about him. He's just fine. Hey, thanks for looking out for us. We owe you one. Not at all, dear. I'm just happy to see you both well again. But if you are leaving, you must be careful on the road. It seems some dangerous criminals have escaped from the capital and are at large somewhere in the area. Oh, I shudder to think what wicked deeds they might be capable of. Criminals, you say? Dear me, that doesn't sound good. And you heard this when you were in Heliodor. I did indeed, my child. There were Guards everywhere. They are searching high and low for the villains. And I heard that the mighty knight Sir Hendrik himself has headed to the mountains in the south with his troops. They say he means to block the road to Cobblestone, the village the fugitives came from. <laughs> oh, but you must forgive me, poor lambs. I did not mean to alarm you. They will soon be caught, I am sure. Justice will be done. And until then, you are free to remain with us for as long as you please. Thanks. We appreciate that. Um, we're going to get a little fresh air. We have a few things to discuss, right? 